De La Wright, my envies. Welcome. Report reaching us right now is that um, the only of you fair is alleged to um, have this claim that Queen Naomi is actually seeking divorce to carry his child and go and marry Captain Okwebi, and it will never, ever happen. That is not going to happen. Okay, so I know that this is not the first time a lot of you are hearing of this C Captain Okwebi man. And each time I speak about Captain Okwebi, I try to uh, explain to you where this uh, um, Captain Okwebi story is coming from. Um, I think sometime last year, shortly after Oni of Ife got married to all of these women, that is, was it last two years, sorry, um, there was this um, issue. You know, when Naomi left for nine months, Oni did not go after Olori Naomi because he had a lot of people, including this very Ikbi, that we are telling Oni, ah, you have the right to marry as many wives as possible. You are a king, African king of that matter. Who is Naomi? Who is that? And all of that. And so Naomi went, um, the only of Ife now went ahead and married all of the women that were re recommended to him, of course, because he was also in a relationship with a lot of them. And so now after he got married to this woman, two months or three months into the marriage, he found out that the void in his heart was still there. And he started desiring Olori Naomi again and he started going after Olori Naomi. And that's the back and forth movement we have been dealing with till today. At least if the information is correct, this is what we know here. OK. And so um, I think it was about six months or three, four, five months um, into the marriage of all of these women, we had one information that came out that a man that has fleet of airlines um, was interested in Olori Naomi and that he's been very, very interested and all of that. We heard about uh, the man being a pilot and all of that. And after a while, when things became so complicated and all of that, I think the man, that the man stepped back. The man stepped back because Olori Nami was not interested at the time, okay? Then um, uh, only recently again, and that time again, we now got this information that uh, during that time, we heard about this um, uh, uh, about of Igbo, Abi, um, Ugbo, Ugbo. I don't know if you heard that information about that Ugbo, Oba, Oba son, okay? Then later we found out that that son and Naomi are just friends. That it was because of, I don't know, something, one celebration they did, that Naomi went there that made people to think that there was something. There was not that. That man is, that man has a wife, okay? Then on and off, on and off. So recently, this Captain Okwebi came out again. Now, when we heard the other time that Naomi, something about one man that owns fleet of airlines, we didn't know the man's name. They didn't tell us. It's only recently that we found out, like me, I found out that the man's name is Captain Okwebi, okay, uh, from um, another blog, okay, that has been following them recent, um, very closely. Now, Captain Okwebi is said to have always been in Naomi's life a friend, a friend, a friend, a very good friend. And this Captain Okwebi um, wants Naomi so much, so, so much, okay? And so he's always been there to support Naomi, big time support Naomi. Um, but Naomi will not want, of course, you do know that Naomi and the owner of Ife, their matter has been dragging back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So, Oni of Ife is aware that there is a Captain Okwebi somewhere. We heard, though, as we are hearing that Captain Okwebi is very wealthy, he has fleet of airlines, and he is um, a pilot, okay? Um, he is, um, the mother of Captain Okwebi is from Akure, and the father is from Lagos State, okay? That's what we are hearing. Now, they said this Captain Okwebi has come up again, according to what we are hearing, that the, the man has been pushing so hard for Olori Nami. But, you know, Captain Okwebi is a Yoruba man, and he understands this um, thing with uh, Nami being married to an Oba before. And C Captain Okwebi is not like that Umbruken pastor who wants to do it, but he's just taking his time and all of that. And because... Captain Okwebi is a very responsible, respected man in the society, and he is very wealthy, very, very wealthy. They say Captain Okwebi is like three times uh, richer than the Oni of Ife, right? 
But you now, from what we are hearing, they say he is very frightened because he knows very well that if he give he frees Naomi right now, Naomi might end up in the hand of Captain Okwebi. Why are we saying this? Naomi has known Captain Okwebi for a very long time. They have been friends, friends, really close friends, okay? They have been friends. Captain Okwebi has always been that shoulder that Naomi cries on. Like he has been a support system to Olori Naomi. And so... If anything, Nami gets her freedom right now. Who knows? It might just she might just end up with Captain Okbebi because they have been friends. It won't be a matter of do you know him, how long have you known him, and all of that. And Oni of Ife is really frightened. This is something that is frightening the man so badly, and he does not want. And right now, they say what he is saying. That's the Oni of Ife is saying that. Olori Nami is seeking divorce, so Nami will run and carry her in the and go and marry Captain Okbebi. That is never ever going to happen. It's not possible. So now the question is that, um, is it a personal thing between the Oni of Ife and Captain Okwebi? Mm-mm. Oni does not want to hear anything about any man with Olori Naomi. Oni is a very jealous man. And, you know, he is jealous because maybe he feels something for Olori Naomi, something really strong. I know that that is what you people do not want me to say. But the truth is that if he does not feel anything for Olori Naomi, he is king. He's worth about $80 million right now. He's got all of these women around him. I do understand the um, traditional um, uh, uh, part, the traditional obligations. But then again, how come he did 14 rituals with Naomi and he would do just one with others? Maybe there's something there for Olori Naomi. But one thing I always tell you, me, I know, I've always told the people this, that KBSC wants to be with Naomi and be with other wives. KBSC wants to be with Naomi and be with otherwise. The way the thing is right now, eh? even if KBSC says to Naomi that, look, let me go and drive all the women. I don't want them. I'm not going to marry new wives again. This is, let me tell you, it's going to be momentary because with a moment Naomi say yes again and enter the palace, KBSC will bring all of them back. You know why? Because maybe that is what he enjoys. But... um. Um, to say that he doesn't really, he does not care at all. He doesn't love now. He does. He feels something strong for that lady, but he is who he is. He likes all of these pretty women and there is nothing anybody can do to stop it. And right now, um, the fact that he is only of affair with due respect, he is king, he is wealthy. The, being a traditional, a traditional king has given him a reason to continue to be with all of these women. But I, I just don't like the fact that it's um, at the expense of Olori Naomi. So the Sekabi is saying that the reason why he would not never give uh, Queen Naomi that freedom is that Queen Naomi is trying to leave him and go and be with uh, Captain Okbebi. Now, for those of you who will be coming here to say, uh, why is she even close to Captain Okbebi? Please, please, please. Naomi is a human being. Sometimes uh, we just expect too much for you. Want let her not be close to anybody. She should just stay in solitude because of what? Yes, uh, she. They are friends. You and I know that Nami cannot do anything with any man. So what else? What do we want from this lady? This is my problem. But however, they said that is only of first fear, and he, he is making it very clear to anyone, everybody that. Whoever is, whatever you want to say, say that he is not going to give Nami any freedom because Nami wants to leave him and carry Tade Nikawo and go and marry Captain Okbebi. This is what we are hearing know if the information is true. What is wrong with Olori Nami getting married is what I do not know. When Kabiesi is, is, is getting married, um, like right now he's about to bring um, um, all of these women again into the palace to add to the six that are there. And Nami is just supposed to sit and be watching and suspend her life. I don't think this is fair. That is if the information is true, because of course, um, um, these are all alleged, rumored and speculated information making the rounds on social media. I'm going to bring you more update. I appreciate you so much. Thank you.